Hello, my name is Dr. Ang. I'm a medical oncologist practicing in Penang Adventist Hospital Oncology Department. I treat various cancer, especially solid tumor, which include breast cancer, colon cancer, lung cancer, uh, and many other uh, solid tumors. Breast cancer usually begins in the milk producing cells in the breast. Sometimes it may spread to the armpit lymph nodes or we call it axillary lymph nodes. When the cancer cells spread out of the breast and also axillary lymph nodes, we call it metastatic breast cancer or stage 4 breast cancer. Cancer can spread to any organ inside our body. Breast cancer, for example, it likes to go to organs such as lung, liver, bone, brain, and skin. The symptom of metastatic breast cancer is highly dependent on which organ the cancer cell has spread to. For example, if you've gone to the bone, it typically can cause bony ache. Sometimes it spread to the lung, right? it can cause the lung to produce some water, we call it perfusion, and this can lead to cough and shortness of breath. If you go to the liver, most patients with small volume disease, they don't feel anything at all. Right? When the tumour starts to grow, it can start to cause problems, for example, jaundice, ascites, meaning accumulation of water in the tummy, leg swellings, if it spread to the brain, the symptom may include weakness in certain parts of the body, speech disturbance, coordination problem, visual problem, and it depends on which location of the brain is involved by the cancer. The survival outcome for patients with stage 4 breast cancer has improved so much and so significantly in the last 10 years. This is because there are so many good and effective treatments available today. For example, patients with ER positive breast cancer. This is a cancer that express ER receptor. In other words, this is a cancer that is hormone sensitive. There are so many new treatments available now, and this include CDK46 inhibitor, PI3K inhibitor, and these are all uh, good treatment and easy to take tablets that can control cancer and prolong patient's life for many years. For HER2 positive breast cancer, again, this is a type of breast cancer that express a special receptor, it's called HER2 receptor. We now have Herceptin, Pertuzumab, TDM1 and many other good drugs that can treat this cancer and many patients live for so long without problems. Unfortunately, for triple negative breast cancer, uh, which is a cancer that do not express ER receptor, PR receptor or HER2 receptor, the treatment for these patients is quite limited. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, the outcome is not as good as the other two breast cancer. Uh, however, recently, immunotherapy has been approved for, to, for the treatment of this cancer. Uh, and again, this has slightly improved the outcome for triple negative breast cancer. Having diagnosed with cancer is not a death sentence. Please remember that. But we need to diagnose a cancer at the earliest stage. For all ladies, please do self-breast examination every month. If you find any abnormalities in the breast, remember to consult your doctor. For ladies who are above 40 years old, please remember to do ultrasound of your breast or mammogram regularly. Remember, prevention is always better than cure and early diagnosis will save life.